Long, long ago, there was a rich man who needed a tea kettle and wanted one that suited his rather sophisticated, artistic taste for antiques. One day, as he was passing by a tinker shop, he saw a beautiful, albeit a rather old, kettle lying in an innocuous corner of the little shop. Ah, hey, my man, how much for that kettle? Why such an old one, sir? I have better ones in my shop. Uh, oh no, this one is the one for my heart. How much? I want an old one. It has to cost much lesser than the others. The shopkeeper was only glad to get rid of the old kettle. He let the rich man have it for just two rins. The rich man took the kettle back home and gave it to his servant to wash. The servant took it to the little tank in the house and started giving the kettle a thorough scrub. While he was doing so... Oh, oh! Go easy on me, man! Where is that sound coming from? Who is talking? Lo and behold, the kettle sprouted four hairy legs with claws and a long, bushy tail. What evil is this? Hi, I am a tanuki. You can think of me as a shape-shifting badger. I and my kind live like different things. I like to live like a kettle. You mind being gentle with me? The poor servant was petrified out of his wits. I must be dreaming. I must be dreaming. Ah. The tanuki followed the servant back to the rich man's house. Where is the kettle I got? Ah, oh, there it is. I, I must be dreaming. I must be dreaming. Where are you going? And I wanted some tea too. Well, I will have to make it myself. So the man got his stove ready and picked up the kettle, put water in it and kept it on the flames to boil. Suddenly he heard a sound. Ow! Ouch! Go easy on me, man! Ouch! Is this fire? The tanuki kettle sprouted its four legs, its long tail, and jumped off the stove, scaring the wits out of the man. Uh, wh wh what are you? Hi, I am a tanuki. You can think of me a shape-shifting badger. I and my kind live like different things. I like to live as a kettle. You mind being gentle with me? This is some kind of an evil magic. What do I do? Suddenly, they heard a sound. Old vessels, give me your old vessels. Old vessels, give me your old vessels. If you don't want me, why don't you sell me to him? The tanuki turned himself into an innocent, hapless kettle. The man grabbed the kettle and ran out with it. Uh, hey, my man, I have an old kettle for you. Wow, this is a neat one. Thank you. <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> the peddler rather liked the kettle and gladly took it home. At night, he kept the kettle next to his bed so that he would be able to look at it when he woke up. But as he was sleeping at night, the tanuki became his own self and jumped off the table to explore its new home. As it scurried on the floor, jumped on the table, and other vessels kept in the hut, he created quite a ruckus that woke up the peddler. What is all this noise? Hi, I am a tanuki. You can think of me as a shape-shifting badger. I and my kind live like different things. I like to live like a kettle. You mind being gentle with me, or will you too scrub me and keep me on fire? They kept you on fire? Yes! Oops! That hurt! Oh, it must have been terrible! But that is what they usually do with a kettle, you know. They do? I didn't know that! Please don't do that to me! Please! No, I think I like you better like this than like a kettle. Friends? Friends.
So the tanuki and the peddler became really good friends. They spent long hours talking, joking with each other. I wish I had more money. I would have taken you and traveled the world. I have an idea. What? Well, you have me for a friend. We are partners. Set up a stage and announce, Come one, come all, come see a kettle, come to life, come. I shall perform such tricks that people will throng to our show. You don't believe me? I am sitting here talking to a kettle that can turn itself into a badger and calls itself a tanuki. Of course I believe you. Hey, partner. And so it came to be. The peddler set up a ring, called out to people. Come on, come all, come see a kettle, come to life, come. Some people came and saw the delightful tricks that the kettle played. The word soon spread and more and more people started thronging to the shows. The peddler had become famous all over the country. And a few months later, the duo performed before the king as well. Years passed, and the once poor peddler had now become a rich man. Hey, friend, thank you. I couldn't have asked for a better life as a tanuki. Now, we have made more than enough money. We won't have to work another day. Why don't we travel all over the world together? What say? No, friend. You can take me if you want, but... I will not be able to come. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? We Tanukis are strange creatures. We can shapeshift only for a few years, and then we turn into our objects forever. No! By this time tomorrow, I will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you, my friend. Is there anything I can do for you? When I become a kettle forever, give me to the city temple. I would love to be there serving all the hundreds who come there each day. Once I become a kettle, the flames of the stoves will no longer torment me. That was the last time the tanuki spoke. It became a kettle forever. True to his word, the peddler took the kettle to the temple and offered it to the head monk there. And there it stands to this day, the hapless kettle who once was a magical tanuki who made a poor peddler rich. The peddler also gave away half his wealth to serve the poor and the needy of the city and dedicated his life to help others, just as the tanuki had once helped him. And such is life. Everything lasts for only some time. It is up to us whether we keep lamenting over what we lost, or like the tanuki and the peddler, make our lives even more meaningful by using what we have to help and serve the world. <laughs>